It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan, tonight, the New York Knicks taking on the Atlanta Hawks. The Knicks able to win the opening tip, and we're underway here at Madison Square Garden. Here comes the screen. Jay, the Knicks searched long and hard for their next head coach. They chose David Fisdale. Why was this the right choice? Well, first off, he's a two-time NBA champion as assistant coach with D. Wade and LeBron James from Miami Heat. And I got some time to spend with him down in Miami at D. Wade's fantasy camp. He is hard and very stern but it comes from a brotherly place. His ability to build the right culture in New York will be imperative, but it all starts with that kind of teaching. Can't get past the defender to Trey Young. Jumper's good. The possession lies with New York. To Fournier. Probing the defense. Fournier. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Okay, that time it was effective. But a really good defender will put that in their memory bank. Holiday controls the basketball. Down just a couple. Trey Young. a shot up off the mark looking for his man now a steal by Atlanta Capella driving right to the basket off the assist look there was barely any contact on that last play I agree with the refs no call let him play possession lies with New York to Fournier Brunson. From the painted area, won't go down. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jarring is only going to escalate. To Julius Randle. Fournier. 4-3. That's how you defend. Screen coming. To Trey Young. The Hawks with four to shoot. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Trey Young bothered just enough there. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Hawks have it. Number 10, Evan Fournier. Trey Young. Capella with a piece. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Pick up, pick up, pick up. To Trey Young. Trying to cash in. Wide open look won't go. Look, sometimes it takes a little while to get into the flow of the game. During the next timeout or during the next break in action, take the ball, go shoot it. See the ball go through the net a couple of times. The drive, right to the basket. That's no good. Holiday in possession. Just under a minute to go in a low-scoring first quarter of play. To Brunson. Here comes the screen. Brunson. 
Clint Capella on tips it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Trey Young sets him up, rushes down the slam. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. Flushes down the slam. Jay, they make it look so easy. Yeah, but it's really not that easy. And as a passer, if your pass is just a fraction too early or a fraction too late, that throws the whole playoff. The timing of this has to be impeccable. Deep three at the buzzer. The first quarter's complete. The Knicks have the lead. First quarter complete, on to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they wanted to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. Shot from in close, no good. To Rose. is in. Someone has to get into a zip code. I don't know what halftime evaluation will be worse. The ankles or the bruised ego. Jay, I'm going to say that you don't know this, but since 1980, the Hawks have drafted only four players to have appeared in the All-Star game. Doc Rivers, Kevin Willis, Al Horford, and Jeff T. Well, how about a guy named Dominique Wilkins? I'm sorry. Oh, well, interesting that you'd ask. Dominique Wilkins was actually selected by the Utah Jazz. Derrick Rose, he's finally on the board, makes his first shot. Here's a tip for your defense. You can't give him that much space. You have to push up into his personal space and make him play the majority of the possessions with his back to the basket. Because if you allow him to open up, there's no stopping. To Murray. Down to five on the 24. Beyond the arc for three. Not that time. DeJounte Murray forced that one up. Rose into the front court. 12 to six, our score. Knicks with four to shoot. Here's a chance from long range. Is good. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. The Hawks will use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. DeJounte Murray against the former MVP. New York Knicks basketball. To Rose. Able to convert inside. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Murray with it. Down 11. chance coming up at the line. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Team foul number one. For 
Justin Holliday. He's got two shots coming. A career 81% free throw shooter. Misses the first. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Good shot, good shot. New York in control of the basketball. There's the toss. Flushes down the slam. Jay, that's a strong connection. And it's always about the play before the play. Look how the eyesight was able to connect between two players. We call that an eyesight contract. Because when you have a contract that's signed, sealed, and then delivered like that, that's how great plays are made. what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a prob city. Jay, it wasn't that long ago. Atlanta won 60 games. Right now, what's the outlook for this franchise? Well, the general manager, Travis Slank, has done a really good job in trying to build the culture, the right culture for the Atlanta Hawks. And that starts with their head coach in Lloyd Pierce. He got him as an assistant coach with the Philadelphia 76ers. And now he can also steal that tagline for the Hawks. It's time to trust the process all over again, but now in Atlanta, Georgia. Frank Kaminsky, huge block. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Trey Young to Capella. Clint Capella, three for three in this first half. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Time for some new personnel into the game. Won't go. To Brunson. Here comes the screen. Doesn't get the bounce. Deep three at the buzzer. This quarter is over. The Knicks have the lead. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. It's the Hawks with the basketball. To Trey Young. Pull the trigger. the three cleans it up nice follow-up on the dunk there Jay let's see if that's a sign for him well he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters but when you have a play like that that can get the juices going and that can help you with your offensive rhythm to Julius Randle short jumper off the mark Ray Young. Ah, no good. To Fournier. Brunson. They go down low to Randall. Quinn Capella with the block. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. And count the basket. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. 
but take it when you can get it. Nix with the basketball. Brunson to Julius Randle. Let's it fly from long range, and he buries it. Jay, the system produces once again. Well, that change is inevitable. And one of the things that continues to fascinate me about this game, usually when you see a good three-point shooting team, their shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance, they're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot-making ability. Short jumper misses. To Fournier. Randall to Brunson. Knocks it down from mid-range. From somebody who loved to score a lot himself. Defensively, if you are guarding me in a parallel position, I can have whatever I want when I want. You have to force this guy to go one direction, make him go towards his weak hand, and then contest that shot. Trey Young, down low Capella. It was right there. To Julius Randle. Fournier rising for the slam. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Nothing going here on that drive. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Fires the three, and he's going to the free throw line. And the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. Second of three is good. It's all three free throws. Let's see what the Knicks can do here. Rose. Nothing going here on that drive to Brunson. New York with four to shoot. For three, smothering D. To Trey Young. And look out. Big finish at the rim. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you head home. From the painted area, won't go down. It's Atlanta ball. Trey Young to Murray. Here comes the screen. DeJounte Murray. Has a look. Deep two there. Won't go. Has a chance. And the rebound comes down to Collins. Deep three at the buzzer. Three quarters down. The Knicks have the lead.
The Knicks to inbound here to start the fourth quarter. They have clearly been the better side so far. Jay, that's reflected on the scoreboard. Well, the cardinal rule in the game of sport is whenever you go into the fourth quarter, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You have to play the game with the scoreboard saying 0-0. Zero, zero. And if you can win that game by double digits, then you've done your job in the fourth. Here comes the screen. DeJounte Murray, great feed, sets it up. Cruises inside for two. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Hands up, hands up, hands up. To Julius Randle. Rose to Fournier. Murray with the basketball. The deficit is six. DeJounte Murray with the dunk. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. To Trey Young. Nothing going here on that drive. He's looking for that touch to Rose. John Collins pins it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Hawks with the basketball. Yes, it drops. Little drama on that one. Every NBA player has a superpower. His, obviously, is that depth perception because that trajectory leads the ball to the net every time. Green coming. Fournier matched up with DeJounte Murray. To Julius Randle. Five on the shot clock. Not that time. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Timeout here for the Knicks. That's their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one remaining. I know the fans didn't get a chance to hear this during the break, but the coaches are wearing a mic for the broadcast. I heard a lot of arguing inside the huddle. It lets you know that the intensity level is pretty high going into the fourth. New blood coming in for both sides. Down to Randall. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of that. DeJounte Murray to Trey Young. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Rose into the front court. His team up by one. Nothing going here on that drive. Rose. Trying to cash in. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. Oh, you got to know your personnel. That's not someone you want to send to the line for a free two. Hits the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Trey Young. to Murray. Five to shoot for Atlanta. Going to launch beyond the arc. Trey Young able to knock it down. Tough shot with the hand in his face. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. To Julius Randle. To Brunson. 
Knicks with four to shoot from long range. Hawks have the board. Murray into the front court. All tied up, just underway in this fourth quarter. Ah, oh, you've got to get that one to go. The possession lies with New York. Brunson. Here comes the screen. Probing the defense. New York with four to shoot. Has a look. Just not going down. Screen coming. Trey Young to Murray. The Hawks with four to shoot. 4-3. Trey Young bothered just enough there. Desperation shot for the win. That does it for the quarter, and it's deadlocked. All tied up. Overtime begins, and away we go. Brunson to Rose. Clint Capella sends it away. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Holiday to the basket, but his shot stays out. To Julius Randle. Brunson gets it in the left corner. To Julius Randle. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. To Trey Young. Bogdanovich defended by Derrick Rose. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Offensive board. Colin's Capella. He's now five for six. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Randall. To Brunson. Quinn Capella rejects it. Just incredible timing on that swap. I ah, can't miss those. To Rose. Brunson. To Rose. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Has a chance. Here comes the screen. The on the arc for three. It's good. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. To Julius Randle. Brunson to Julius Randle. John Collins snatch. Pushing it out of the air. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. And the nice finish at the rim. 
I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. To Capella. Throws it down. Now a whistle, and we'll get a timeout for the Knicks as they'll make sure they're all on the same wavelength here in this fourth quarter of play. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. To Fournier. Short jumper off the mark. Here's Atlanta. Trying to cash in. Knocks it down from mid-range. You see the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens. They recognize how they were being guarded on the previous set, and then they make the necessary adjustments. Fournier to Brunson. Here comes the screen. Has a look. Rebound gathered by Holiday. Knicks come away with it. Slams it down. An easy two. Get back on defense. Trey Young. Here comes the screen. To Trey Young. Here's a chance from long range. Off the iron. No good. Fournier to Julius Randle. Brunson. Has a chance. Off the mark. Here comes the intentional foul, but they did have one to give, so no free throws yet. They'll shoot after the next foul. Now an intentional foul. That'll be free throws with 20 seconds left to go. First one goes down. gets both to drop at the line. Now the coach of the Knicks gonna signal for a timeout. They'll need a quick shot and then likely a quick foul in what is now a two possession game. from the post. And they'll get the intentional foul. So two free throws coming up, and you figure one out of two could be enough to seal the deal. First one, count it. Goes two for two at the line. Deep three at the buzzer. The Hawks are victorious as they win it in overtime. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen.